Hello, I'm Matt. This is Army Shield with Dry Socks AR, and I'm back. Uh, and also, welcome back to another video on um, the destroyers. Um, and I meant to go British this time. I played a lot of the Russian. Um, first off, I wanted to put this together real quick. This is not going to be very long. Uh, to talk about now, after playing a little bit, and then going back and revisiting a couple things. Uh, how I feel about the direction. Um, as you know, uh, the CBT for the naval thing, in a lot of people's mind, was not good. Um, honestly, I'll be honest, I didn't mind it, but I can see where everybody's gripes was. The gameplay was kind of repetitive. It was just little boats screaming at each other as fast as they could, trying to close to dump a, just mass dump torpedoes. You didn't really know where the torpedoes were going. You know, so... I get it. I get it. I really do get it. Um, but still, I, I don't know. I saw something there. And again, that's why it was a test. Really, again, this is why we test. And I give kudos to Gaijin for listening, for going back and listening uh, to uh, the player base. And, you know, oh my gosh, why did everybody spawn in dang planes and I'm the only guy in a boat? You know, going back and just really listening. Anyway, um, with that being said, now we have, you know, the the naval test kind of kind of went the way of the dodo. Uh, we all lost, um, uh, con you know, it just kind of disappeared off the radar. What was going on? What's going on with this? And um, anyway, um, you know, and then we saw some hints to the destroyers. And now here they are. Now, does it make everything better? Well, not necessarily. Um, I think now, probably more than anything, we are headed in the right direction. I, honestly, I like how this feels. Uh, I even like the mixing now with the little fast boats, because now there's some strategy. You have your bigger boats going out, and the littler boats can kind of sneak around. There's more cover. The map is a little bigger. But still, I, feel the, I would like to see the map bigger. Uh, one thing I want to point out real quick, uh, I went back with in my, in my impatience, I did not go back and learn my torp line. As you can see now, I have a torp line. Um, that is, uh, default is Q, just so everybody knows. And you can hit individual, look at this, see, you can go per torp gun. Um, and I apologize earlier for not uh, figuring that out. That was just my dumbass not going back and looking at <laughs> the instructions or going through the hotkey. Um, but anyway, on, uh, another, on the other note, I just wanted to drop a quick line and, you know, kind of go, hey, um, I think we're heading the right direction. This has got me very excited. Uh, probably the one thing right now that sticks out uh, is I would like to see a little bit bigger map still. Uh, when I spawn in, I can instantly, uh, you know, I can see the enemy mostly across the water uh, when they're not all in airplane. I don't know what this has turned into, a big uh, fighter show up there. Uh, I'm not sure why. But anyway, so anyway, enough on that. Um, let's do a little cutting here and... I want to test out my torps. We'll see how that goes. I don't know what the distance uh, of the torps are. The torp. The one thing I'd like to see also, I guess, is my torp listed yeah, as part of as an am ammunition choice, so we can see. What is uh, what the capabilities are? Can we pick different ones as we unlock it again? 
I want to go back to all this and say, hey, you know what? This is a uh, this is a beta test. This is a closed beta test on you know the naval forces in War Thunder. And you know what? The first round, okay, it did not survive contact with the enemy. Let's fall, fall back, figure this out, and redo it. And I think we're uh, headed now, maybe in the right direction. As always, uh, again, I pay to play, so you guys don't have to. I'm liking this torque thing now. And again, I apologize for being just such a good about that. I should have done better with that. Move. now hit below the water line, which is phenomenal. Uh, the biggest issue before was no flooding. There was just no flooding. There we go. All right, I'm okay. Okay. Much improved on the torque. Much improved. Now that my dumbass knows how to aim the stupid. I feel stupid, guys. Hey, I learned sometime. Honestly, I, I, I'm really. Now starting villain. Flying airplanes down as they fly. battling each other. We're supposed to be testing ships.
There we go. I like that. Again, I think we are headed now in a much better direction. Seriously, I am just raping this bow. Got off. Shut them up. Anyway, as we finish up here, I don't know if my team's battling in the air. I just want to say again, uh, you know, I didn't hate the way it was before, but this is definitely an improvement. Again, a uh, couple things I'd like to say. And we won. Oh, because I went out and uh, killed everything. I am not sure what those guys are doing. Okay. What? Who oh, no. knows? I don't begin one. Was that all bots? Probably. Anyway, um, so again, to just to recap real quick, guys. Uh, one, uh, my new bass in the torpedoes. I do love the way the torpedoes are aiming now, uh, as you can see in that quick video. Two, need some larger maps, but we are definitely probably most, we're headed in the right direction, uh, and it makes me very hopeful for the future. Again, as I've said, I am very hopeful for War Thunder. I think it is becoming the all-encompassing. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Does it have its issues? Most definitely, it does. But out of them all, this is the one I play the most because I just enjoy the direction it's going. Anyway, as always, give me your comments. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. You know the drill. And this has been Armbushido for Dry Socks AAR. And may Odin welcome you to Valhalla. <laughs>